This is a video on how I updated these two front tires on my Toro Titan Max zero turn 60 inch uh, lawnmower from the stock ones to ones I got at Northern Tool and the modifications you're gonna need to make. Fly. Kept having issues with the original tires going flat. Then I took them to co-op, they put tubes in them and those went flat even quicker. So I searched around for another option and here's what I found which is these 13 by 6.5 dash six tires. They're the flat free tire from Northern Tool. It's cost me about, uh, I can't tell you the exact price, but they were one of the cheaper options out there. I think maybe it was like 80 bucks for two of them. I uh, found them and got this one mounted and I wanted, here's a process of what you need to do to convert from this to this. These holes right here, sorry, trying to do this. These holes, the way this fits, will not go through there. And with the new hub here, it is not as wide by just about an inch or so as what this hub is, the stock hub. So, you're gonna to need to drill these out so they go over this area here because you want them to go over where your bearing sets in here so dust and debris can't get in here, but they won't slide over. See these spacers I had to put in here? This needs to go in front of these to keep the dirt and debris from getting into that bearing. So you're gonna to have to drill these out and I'll show you the next step and tool you need to drill these out. So you're gonna to need to go to Harbor Freight and or your local supply store. This is like 18 bucks from Harbor Freight. Get this combo drill bit set. Get this one, uh, you don't need that one. You need a smaller one here. And it's gonna go all the way up to seven eighths. The existing hole is half inch, which is down here. You're gonna to need to go all the way up Three quarters is the actual size of the hole. Three quarters is the actual size of the hole, but you're gonna to wanna to take it up just a little, uh, about halfway, three quarters, and then wiggle a little bit, to give yourself a little bit more room. And we're gonna take this to that. And this is our end result. I use this as like a standard hand drill, but you can see the difference in the hole size of what's the other one, these two next to each other. So I'm gonna drill this out, this one out now, and I'll show you why. All right, disclaimer, when you're drilling these out, uh, put on closed-toed shoes, and uh, these can get hot, of course, watch them with your hands. And you'll see right here, there's these little burrs that kick up. Take a file and file those down. That's what I'm about to do to knock these off, because if not, those will grind into your bearing. Try to get them as smooth as possible as you can on the back end. Next thing you're gonna notice difference about these two wheels, other than the width here, this one's a little taller, is this has bearings in it. See the bearings in here, they turn right here. See they over here, no bearings, it's just flat metal. That's gonna wear your shaft down everything a lot more. Bearings take a lot of the weight off that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a long flat tip screwdriver and we're going to put it down through here to the other side, knock that one out and then flip it over and knock this out. They just slide out, you might hit it pretty hard. Next, you're gonna come over and you're gonna do the same thing to this one, but make sure- you Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure you turn this flat, not like this, because then you'll get into your bearing on the other side. You wanna be like this. Stick it down in there like that, hit it with a hammer, go to the other side, it'll knock it loose. And then we will take and they'll slide right back into here and all right so i got both these knocked out this is the old wheel this is a new one here's what the insides of those look like it came out of those those are flipped over and here's the other ones remember what i told y'all to make sure you flatten it so when you knocked it out so you don't be like a dummy and like me i didn't do it the way i told you you should good news is the bearing still turns it's okay it always be better, but it is what it is. Listen, my experience, I have yet to have a project go perfect. It's always gonna be odds and ends. 
if it don't go right, you can still make it work. So don't let my uh, shortcomings here discourage you from giving it a go. All right, time to tap these bearings into the new one. Something you want to pay attention to when you're knocking these out of the new one or putting the uh, putting the bearings back in them. You see this fitting? It's for your grease fitting to lube this once you get it up and running. Make sure you don't put your screwdriver on that and bang against it as you're trying to drive the old one out and put it back in. So what you want to do with these, set them in and either use one of these plastic mallets or just a piece of wood. Don't go metal to metal on this because it can really mess up the surface here and uh, really have an effect on your bearing. I've already messed it up enough. I think I'm pretty confident it'll be fine, but just get a flat piece of wood and just tap it in. And when you hear that hollow sound, you'll be able to lift it up and see that it's seated in there pretty good. Same with this one. All right, let's put it on. So this is why we uh, drilled these out. So they will fit over this and keep that bearing protected like that from dirt and debris which is gonna be very omnipresent while you're mowing. So this is what we're gonna do. Whoops, push that back over a little bit. There we go. Anyway. So here's the end result. You can see down there, uh, I had to use the spacers, a thicker one and a thinner one. They come with the tire from Northern Tool. And here's the other one. Uh, Stone goes up the best you can. You wanna make sure they still free spin. Uh, overall review of this one is that a uh, little bit bumpier of a ride, but the time that I, I get to save did not have to worry about airing my tires up or flats or all that. Hey man, worth it for 80 bucks to me. So hope this helps. Uh, I'm not an expert, just giving it a go like anybody else.